Hello everyone, myself Mila Agrawal. Today we are going to discuss about Delta Airlines as a flight attendant. So each Delta flight attendant has a story of their own. Whether a career as a flight attendant is the first or second chapter in someone's story, they are honored to be a part of 25,000 plus journeys. The first step to become a Delta flight attendant is to complete the application. Candidates should only apply once and should not create multiple profiles. So now we are going to discuss some assessments which you have to go through if you are applying to as a uh, flight attendant in Delta Airlines. After creating a profile, you have to go through the talent assessment step that is uh, to help candidate understand their strength and in the workplace. Candidate must complete and pass the assessment to continue through the interview process. Next step would be virtual job tryout. Experience key aspects of the role and job situations while demonstrating problem solving, customer service and job related skills. Okay. The uh, fourth step is the job demand interview. On demand interview that means candidates who successfully pass the VJT round. VJT round that means virtual job triad round. After if you complete this round then you will be able to give on demand interview. This interview is completed through uh, their technology partner and modern hire. If, if you complete this round, there is in-personal event day. Like su uh, successful candidates are invited to Delta's headquarters in Atlanta for event day. This interview day is an opportunity for uh, you to learn about your experience and introduce you to Delta. There are some conditional job offers. If you have a successful event day interview, you will be offered a position with Delta as a flight attendant. Then you will have to go through the in-person training. Once pre-employment is successfully completed, flight attendant are given their training dates, base assignment and then being their 7-week on-site training in Atlanta, GA. So the flight attendant opportunity is in high demand and it may take some time to hear from uh, their uh, talent team. We, uh, they will be able in touch uh, via email about next steps in the application process. Okay. So next, the final is the interview process. A virtual interview should be treated as a much like a professional in-person interview as possible. Keeping, uh, you should keep the following tips uh, in mind. If you are going to for a preparation for a virtual interview like this interview will be a self-recorded and uh, you should be warm clean pressed and professional clothing and be mindful of your presentation and communication throughout your experience and always portray professionalism ensure you are in quiet and professional environment free from distractions keep in mind your location and uh, choice should have neutral uh, background and good lighting your virtual interviews are depend on uh, having a good internet connections test your connection before the interview and make sure your microphone and web camera are functioning correctly video is required for all interviews ensure you are not blocked that your uh, webcam is at eye level put yourself in the center of the frame okay Answer questions clearly, honestly, and accurately. Avoid pre-writing interview answers and reading your interview answers directly off from a piece of paper okay, and uh, on another screen. So these are some steps you should keep in mind if you go through the for, uh, this virtual interview process. Okay, And you should be aware of something like as you prepare to join uh, team in Atlanta for the in-person event day, we recommend that you should keep in mind some following things like consider the way uh, flight attendant dress okay, and use that as in inspiration. Wear clean, press and professional clothing. Okay, If you are an internal candidate, do not wear your Delta uniform. Okay, uh, Their uniform policy doesn't allow for visible tattoos Okay, uh, and we recommend uh, that keeping in mind that as you prepare for event day, for candidates that prefer suits, wear two-piece suit and tie. Dark professional colors such as black, gray, or navy are recommended. For candidates that prefer dresses or skirts, 
a two piece suit with with skirts uh, will be good okay dark professional uh, colors uh, will be recommended now dress shoes with dark socks uh, are applicable and sensible heels you can uh, prefer okay for females uh, hair should be clean and neatly trimmed okay eat a well balanced meal prior to join uh, the event day as you will be uh, the uh, with our team for a few hours okay so these all things will be provided you if you are going to a uh, um, in training for uh, in a delta airlines so yeah this is all uh, about delta airlines as a flight attendant if you are wish to join and if you want more information please go through the blog of flyingcruise.com thank you